Question. How do you get God to stop for you and give special attention to your situation? What does it take to stand out in the crowd and get God-sized results? Find the answers to these questions and more in Derek Greer's latest book, When God Stops. This one-of-a-kind book highlights eight hidden figures from the Bible who show us how to dream, think, and live the type of life that God not only notices, but one that He rewards. Not only that, but in this book, Derek Greer shares his personal journey like he never has before. Hear his testimony and go beyond what you see to get the real story behind Derek Greer's most life-changing moments with God. So jumpstart your faith today. Learn how to get God's special attention and see God-sized results in your life. Go to whengodstops.com today. That's whengodstops.com to find out more. Hello, I'm DJ Greer and welcome to Live Big. Did you know that having an excellent spirit could impact your life as well as the lives of others around you? Today, we are going to join my dad and learn about how an excellent spirit in trying times served to distinguish one figure in the Bible. Let's get started. Daniel 6, chapter 1, it pleased Darius. Now, Darius was the third media Persian king. Uh, Israel had been in captivity for about 60 years, and uh, his kingdom was absolutely massive. It stretched all the way from India, all the way into eastern Africa. And Darius set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the entire or the whole kingdom. And these satraps had... Uh, judicial authority, but also complete executive authority over their particular regions. But most importantly, the satraps collected taxes for the king. Uh, one of the greatest contributions of the Babylonians and, and, and then later the Medes and Persians adopted many of the things they learned from the Babylonians was not just military expertise, but administrative genius. You know, organizing is what you do uh, before you do something. And uh, so, so when you do it, you don't get everything all, all mixed up. Uh, ben Franklin said this, and I want to read. He said, every minute spent organizing is an hour saved. So this was a highly organized kingdom, and uh, they, they were in authority, and, and, and they had great power. And over these 120 were only three governors, and then you had the king himself, of whom Daniel was one that the satrite straps might give account to them. Uh, what, what's amazing here is that though Daniel was a, a devout Jew, Daniel rose to become one of the three highest officials in a Gentile empire. You know, our biggest limitations are often those that exist only in our own minds. So that the king would suffer no law. So Daniel's job was really to watch the king's back, especially in the area of finances. So he was kind of a watchdog, if you will, making sure that none of the satraps uh, put their hand in the king's cookie jar. And it's in serving the interests of others that, that qualifies us to serve uh, our own self-interest. And we see this in Daniel. Verse 3, then Daniel distinguished himself above the three governors. Again, he's in, you know, uh, rarefied air. He's one of the top leaders. But even amongst the top leaders, Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and all the satraps, despite all of his disadvantages, a Jew amongst uh, the Gentiles, a godly man amongst the, the wicked, a eunuch among men. But Daniel still shine. You know, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% uh, how you react to it. And we see that Daniel was in a tough situation, but his reaction was powerful. And actually, he excelled despite all of the disadvantages in his life. Why did this happen, though, to Daniel? 
the Bible goes on and tells us, because an excellent, a what? Excellent spirit or an excellent attitude was in him. You see, aptitude is about what you can do, but attitude is about how you do what you do. You see, you can't have a good day with a bad attitude, and you can't have a bad day with a good attitude. The king gave thought, now the king is processing, of setting him over the whole realm, and everyone knows what the king is is thinking. And again, this is a guy uh, of the wrong race, the wrong religion, but he was on track to become one of the, 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 the really the number two man in the country, very much like uh, Joseph. Verse 4, so the governors and the satraps, watch this, sought to find some charges against him. Jealousy's ugly. So the governors and the satraps sought to find some charges against Daniel concerning the kingdom. Here's what I've learned. Don't worry about people talking behind your back because they're behind you for a reason. Never hate someone who, 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 who's jealous of you. In fact, respect their jealousy. They only, they're only jealous because they think you have something they, they don't have. Just smile back and agree. But they could find no charge or no fault because, watch this, despite all of the things that Daniel faced. Listen, Daniel was a eunuch. Cut me anywhere, but don't cut me there. You hear what I'm saying? Despite all that Daniel had to deal with, he was taken as a captive from his native land, and he was now in, in, in this, this, this Gentile nation. But despite all of that, the Bible says he was still what? Faithful. And I want you to imagine looking at the life of a man who had served in public service for, for 50 years and, 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 you know, every relationship scrutinized, every place he ever visited, every place he ever went on his computer, every email, every text scrutinized, every expenditure question. But Daniel didn't wake up every morning to be averaged. He woke up to be extraordinary. And Daniel distinguished himself in these very difficult times, in a very difficult setting. He was an extraordinary man. Then it goes on and says, nor was any error or fault found in him. Again, this man is 80 plus kind of years old. And you'd expect, expect, you know, living that long, a few skeletons in his closet but there was absolutely none. Verse 5, these men said, we shall not find any charge against this Daniel unless we find it against him concerning the law of his God. So special prosecutors were assigned to uh, Daniel, but they found absolutely nothing. And I want to encourage you, if the only thing people in your life can criticize is your faith in God, you, you, you have done very, 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 very well. Verse 6. So these governors and satraps, satraps thronged before the king and said thus to him, King Darius, live forever. So just as the enemies of Daniel had studied Daniel's weaknesses, likewise they had studied the king. And they recognized one of his weaknesses, which actually here it, it, it was, was pride. You see, flattery is a lot like chewing gum. Enjoy it, but don't swallow it. And uh, we're about to find that out the king swallowed it here. Verse 7, all the governors of the kingdom, the administrators, the satraps, the counselors, advisors, they all, they said, they all consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree. So basically what these men are saying, everyone is in unison. All of your leaders agree about this. So, you know, his enemies understood something that I, I, I think we need to likewise understand. People can be persuaded typically to do things they don't want to do if they think everyone else agrees. That's why all these polls are so important because people tend to go with the crowd and, and with the flow. But it's better to walk alone uh, than, than in a crowd that's going in the wrong direction. That whoever petitions any god or man for 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the lion's den. So 
Uh, they, they speak to the king and they play to the crowd. Hey, king, everyone is of the same mind. You should do this thing. Then secondly, they appeal or play to his ego. And, uh, you know, in a war of egos, the losers always win. And you have to think about that for a moment before it makes sense to you. But, but verse 8, now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing so that it cannot be changed. And some decisions, you know, we can't get out of once we, 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 we make them. According to the law of the Medes and Persians, which uh, does not alter. So in this culture, once a law was established, once it was put in writing in particular, it was irrevocable. Even the king himself could not change a law once it was put in writing. Now this is important. This is why I hold the scriptures in such high regard. The king of the universe didn't just say it, he put it in writing, and it will never be appealed. It will never be reversed. The Bible says the righteous swears to his own hurt and does not change. So even if God does not like what has been written, he will not change his mind because he's that type of God. Verse 9, therefore, King Darius signed the written decree. So the government passed a law that contradicted the law of God. So, so what you going to do, Daniel? How are you going to handle this, Daniel? Let's, let's watch. Verse 10. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, watch what he did. He went home. You see, Daniel didn't throw his faith in everyone's face, but neither did he hide it. You see, we can be uncompromising without being obnoxious. So all Daniel did is he went home to do what he normally did. And this was God's word to me uh, on uh, Wednesday, the day after election. I'm like, Lord, you know, I don't know who, who won the election and, and uh, you know, we're, we're, the, the whole country is uncertain. Lord, how do I handle this? How, how should we handle this? And what the Lord simply said to me, was just keep doing what you've always done. And he referred back to this passage. And in his upper room, watch this, with the windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times. He didn't just do it once, three times that day. He knew what had just happened politically. He knew what the king had just said. But the most important thing in his mind was to just keep on doing what God had said. And watch what he did. And he prayed. This man's only crime was to pray to a God who hears. And Daniel also, watch this, this is why he had an excellent attitude, gave thanks before his God. This is important. People were trying to ruin his reputation. People were trying to destroy his career. People were literally trying to kill Daniel. But we see that he gave thanks to God. And if Daniel could give thanks in the midst of all of this, why is it that you and I cannot give praise to the Lord? And he gave what? Thanks. An excellent spirit is when you can give thanks when things go your way and when things don't go your way. He gave thanks before his God, as was his what? Custom since early days. You see, if you pray only when you're in trouble, you are already in trouble. Grace Church, let everyone else break windows. Let everyone else loot businesses. Let everyone else tear stuff down. But if my people called by my name would just humble themselves and pray. You're tuned in to the Live Big Broadcast. Don't go anywhere. There's more teaching to come. We want to tell you about something that we're really, really excited about. It's Live Big Magazine. Live Big Magazine is a free quarterly magazine featuring premium articles from Derek Greer and other expert contributors. It's all designed to help you live bigger in key areas of your life such as faith, business, mental health, parenting, and a whole lot more. The good news is that it's absolutely free with no strings attached. We'll even pay for shipping. All you have to do is go to DerekGreer.com forward slash magazine. That's DerekGreer.com forward slash magazine to claim your free subscription today. 
Check out the Derek Grimm Ministries YouTube channel. Revisit your favorite moments from the Live Big broadcast and watch popular teachings. Get in the now hot takes and dive into Bishop Greer's Ministry Minute and bite-sized noonday teachings that can only be found online. Get all of this and more at home or while on the go. So, subscribe to the Derek Greer Ministries YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get fresh content from Derek Greer that will help you grow stronger, live bigger, and get closer to God. Connect with Derek Greer Ministries on social media to access Bishop Greer's latest teachings and content. Follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, be sure to subscribe to Bishop Greer's YouTube channel at Dr. Derek Greer VA and get the latest episodes, ministry minutes, noonday teachings, and more. While you're there, be sure to hit that notification bell to find out when Bishop Greer's latest power-packed videos are uploaded. So subscribe and get ready to propel your spiritual life forward in 2021 and beyond. Question. How do you get God to stop for you and give special attention to your situation? What does it take to stand out in the crowd and get God-sized results? Find the answers to these questions and more in Derek Greer's latest book, When God Stops. This one-of-a-kind book highlights eight hidden figures from the Bible who show us how to dream, think and live the type of life that God not only notices, but one that He rewards. Not only that, but in this book, Derek Greer shares his personal journey like he never has before. Hear his testimony and go beyond what you see to get the real story behind Derek Greer's most life-changing moments with God. So jumpstart your faith today. Learn how to get God's special attention and see God-sized results in your life. Go to WhenGodStops.com today. That's WhenGodStops.com to find out more. As Daniel prayed, the shade parade, if you will, came marching in. And these men found Daniel not cursing, not screaming, not fighting. But they found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Daniel did not allow the king's decree to change his actions one way or the other. He didn't pray more. He didn't pray less. He just continued to do what he always did. Democrats in office, we just do what we've always done. Republicans in office, we just do what we always done. I don't care who is in power, but I'm going to keep on preaching. I'm going to keep on praying just the way I've always done it. And here's the deal. If the world will not change for me, I'm not going to change for it. Skip to verse 16. So the king gave the command, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Skip to 17. Then a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signets of his lords, that the purpose concerning Daniel might not be changed. To everyone watching, Daniel's situation was irreparable. It was irreversible. It was impossible. But this is the deal here. This was only a foreshadowing of another innocent man, who would likewise be laid behind a stone, and the stone would be sealed, but we all know what happened after three days. Verse 18, now the king went to his palace, and he spent the night fasting. He was mad at himself for letting himself be so used. And, and I've heard it said that when the ego dies, the soul awakes. When the ego dies, it's really when the soul awakes. And no musicians were brought before him. Also, his sleep went from him. So this king was not a bad man. And uh, he just let the people around him get the best of him. This seemed to be the situation. Verse 19. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions. Now, Daniel slept better uh, in a den of lions on a dirty floor than the king slept 
uh, you know, and beautiful pillows and people fanning him at night better than he slept with a guilty conscience. And a clear conscience is really the best pillow in life. And when he came to the den, he cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel. Darius was grief-stricken. God had obviously been working on his heart as much as he had been working on Daniel's courage. And it's important, don't write people off because we never really know what's going on in their hearts. Now, we could judge an action, but we really can't judge a heart. Only God knows what he's doing in that person's heart. The king spoke saying this to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continually been able to deliver you from the lions? This is important. Daniel, or God better, didn't stop Daniel from being put in the lion's den. He just protected him while he was in it. And God may not stop things that disappoint us, things that hurt us, things that uh, sadden us, but he can protect us when it happens. My Bible says the Lord is my rock and my fortress. He's my Pentagon. He is my de defense department. The psalmist says, when the wicked came against me, it, it was them who stumbled and fell. Then Daniel said to the king, watch his spirit. O king, live forever. Kind even to a king that had tried to have him eaten alive. Oh, help us, Lord, be more like Daniel. And he said, my God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths. Anyone remember the 90s? Daniel was in the lion's den all night wearing his hammer pants saying, can't touch this. He'd go pull the, 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 the lion's whisker out and be like, can't touch this. And this is what I want to say to you. I know it's crazy out there, but as long as we keep looking to God, as long as we keep worshiping and giving thanks to God, it can't touch us. So while you're watching television, your attitude ought to be, can't touch this. As you're on the job, your attitude ought to be, can't touch this. While you're helping your kids during COVID do homework and, and your teacher and parent, your attitude needs to be, can't touch this. No, God sent us into or allowed us to, 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 to be taken into the den of lions, but he will protect us in it. And no matter what happens in the country, we have to keep lifting our eyes to the hill from whence cometh our help. So in another four years, there'll be another election. Then there'll be another election. There'll be another set of circumstances. But if God's people call by their name, his name would just humble themselves and, and, and pray and seek his face. Turn from the wicked ways. We'll hear from heaven. And he will heal our land. So the issue right now may not so much be even the elections, but the aftermath. And my prayer is that we would just keep on doing what we've always done. Keep on loving each other. Keep on forgiving each other. Keep on being gracious to each other. And as we do that, uh, we're, we're, we're going to be just fine. Did you catch that? Our biggest limitations are often the ones that exist in our own minds. Daniel faced an intense amount of pressure. But through it all, he maintained an excellent spirit. Ultimately, it was Daniel's excellent spirit that distinguished him from his peers in the eyes of King Darius. We never know who is going to watch us go through trials in life. No matter the situation, be sure to pray and give thanks to God. Your excellent attitude just may be the thing that impacts someone else's life. Be on the lookout for the third edition of Live Big Magazine coming your way soon. Live Big Magazine is a premium resource that is designed to help you live big in key areas of your life, such as faith, business, mental health, and more. Best of all, we made this magazine available to you free of charge. That's right, we'll even pay for the shipping. Stay tuned, our announcer is coming shortly with more details. We want to tell you about something that we're really, really excited about. It's Live Big Magazine. 
Live Big Magazine is a free quarterly magazine featuring premium articles from Derek Greer and other expert contributors. It's all designed to help you live bigger in key areas of your life, such as faith, business, mental health, parenting, and a whole lot more. The good news is that it's absolutely free with no strings attached. We'll even pay for shipping. All you have to do is go to DerekGreer.com forward slash magazine. That's DerekGreer.com forward slash magazine to claim your free subscription today. Question. How do you get God to stop for you and give special attention to your situation? What does it take to stand out in the crowd and get God-sized results? Find the answers to these questions and more in Derek Greer's latest book, When God Stops. This one-of-a-kind book highlights eight hidden figures from the Bible who show us how to dream, think, and live the type of life that God not only notices, but one that He rewards. Not only that, but in this book, Derek Greer shares his personal journey like he never has before. Hear his testimony and go beyond what you see to get the real story behind Derek Greer's most life-changing moments with God. So jumpstart your faith today. Learn how to get God's special attention and see God-sized results in your life. Go to whengodstops.com today. That's whengodstops.com to find out more. Until next time, I invite you to subscribe to the Derek Greer Ministries YouTube channel to access my dad's latest teachings, revisit your favorite broadcast, and share your favorite teachings with your friends, family, and loved ones. While you are there, be sure to hit the notification bell so you know when new content has been uploaded. Best of all, subscribing to the Derek Greer Ministries YouTube channel is free. More information is coming soon. Until next time, live big. Check out the Derek Grimm Ministries YouTube channel. Revisit your favorite moments from the Live Big broadcast and watch popular teachings. Get in the now hot takes and dive into Bishop Greer's Ministry Minute and bite-sized noonday teachings that can only be found online. Get all of this and more at home or while on the go. So, subscribe to the Derek Greer Ministries YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get fresh content from Derek Greer that will help you grow stronger, live bigger, and get closer to God. A life of influence isn't achieved overnight. It's built through consistent application of wisdom and a whole lot of hard work. In my book, 120 Minutes to Live Big, I provide you with 120 bite-sized nuggets of insights on practical topics such as marriages and finances, as well as wisdom for personal growth and leadership development. This book will stimulate self-examination and provide fuel for personal transformation. The best thing about it is I'm offering this book to you absolutely free. Just pay a nominal fee for shipping and, and I'll pay for the book. I'll, I'll also give you 30 days access to my Growth Lab, a program designed to help you grow from good to great, from mediocre to extraordinary. If you want to live a life that overflows and blesses others, this gift is for you. So to claim your free book and get 30 days access to my Growth Lab, simply visit dgmfree.com. That's dgmfree.com. Derek Greer Ministries is certified by the ECFA. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Live Big with Derek Greer.